Hello, what a joy to be here. Uh, Your Royal Highness, my friend, uh, Mr. Secretary Zhao, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Women are already on the internet. They've been on the internet. And one of the most wonderful things about the GemTech Awards, thank you, ITU, thank you, UN Women, thank you, Doreen, is that we're finally recognizing it. So this is year three, and that's wonderful. But you're going to meet some women tonight that have been doing this for quite some time. Uh, we've been around 20 years, 15 years. Women in this audience who have been very much involved in creating the capacity to use the internet, building the tools of the internet, building the networks that are the internet. So that's why we are so pleased to help sponsor the GemTech Awards. It's a way to recognize women who are already making a difference in the world. It unites us together. It reminds us that we have common cause. We're here to build solutions. Women are problem solvers. We are natural connectors. The internet is a network of networks. So are women. And when we see each other across the globe and we understand the power we already have, there is nothing that can stop us. There's a theory that the best way for women to change the world is to make sure we surround ourselves with other women who can boost us and maybe boast about us as well. Uh, we call it shine the light. We're not, it's not so clear that we're out there, so we take the light and we shine it on various women and we say, yes, they are. Yes, they can. Yes, they already do. So take a look at hashtag shine the, shine the light because we have been together with our partners making sure we find these women and show their skills to the world, not just to honor them. Women are notoriously not needing awards, but to show other women that it's entirely possible to do great things and to make sure our young women see this as a path forward. Now, some of the, um, the research that the Webb Foundation has done has shown that there's 50% less, likely to be less women connected on the internet than men in any demographic or uh, geography. This is not because women do not want to be on the internet. It is because of the same barriers that are in the way for women's accomplishment in almost any area. But here's the difference. Women aren't going to stand for it. They already understand the power of connectivity. They already understand that this is a tool. By the way, this notion of empowering women, women empower themselves. What they need and want are tools. And the tools are readily available. Now, Secretary General Zhao, every speech he gives, and I've said this to him before, always says he's just visited a school. I have actually been very touched by the fact that everywhere he goes in the world, he goes to a school. And when we were together in Japan at the G7, I hope you remember, sir, I said, okay, every speech I give and every speech you give, let's say we have to hook up every school for every child, for every boy and girl. I think he's been keeping his promises, and so have I. Why? Because it is in that next generation, that next generation of boys and girls who are going to be digital natives, where we will see a sea change in the world as to how we work, how we grow ourselves, how we play, how we invent, how we innovate, how we create. And that starts in our schools. So I, too, am going to tell you a story. And yes, indeed, I will join you to make sure this happens, because I'm just as passionate as you are. The Internet Society has a program called Wireless for Communities. And what we are trying to do is empower small villages, communities, to, for themselves, uh, create sustainable uh, Internet connection. A lot of Wi-Fi going on here. 
And if you go into the village, you'll find two kinds of people. One, young entrepreneur types who want to build the thing, who are very excited about watching the, 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 um, the network and knowing what the volumes are, uh, uploading and downloading, et cetera, mostly men. And then you will, re, uh, you will find the women who are running the schools, who are making sure they're figuring out the skills that the kids need to have, who are disciplining children to learn the right way about computing. We went just this last week to a village in India. Uh, at, at the, the community is called Barefoot College, in which women uh, come together to themselves learn skills, an incredible, amazing phenomena, women uh, learning how to build um, mobile solar units so that they can heat the water, so that they can power the phones, so that they can have light in their own villages. And here the, the connectivity serves as a backdrop. So here they are on their iPads following the directions. Here they are using the internet to stay in touch with their own villages, otherwise they couldn't be there. And here right across the street is the, is the school where their children and other children are. Lined up very patiently behind the computers that are available for their 10 minute shot at the internet. And I really wish I would have put this picture up, although if you go to uh, uh, at uh, internet society, you will see the picture of these kids, all the girls, sitting patiently, waiting for their turn to be on the net. This is happening all over the world. It will continue to happen as we provide the education, as we are out there doing what we need to do to make sure that there's connectivity, that there's devices, that there's training for computing power. The world is changing even as we talk. Well, we want to shine the light on those women, the women who are already doing the work. And um, tonight is special in that regard. Uh, we have some real stars. And uh, shining uh, the light on those stars will help others to understand why this is so, so important. So you're going to hear about programs to educate girls uh, and young teenagers in the STEM disciplines so that they themselves go towards science, that they see this as a way forward, that they have the support they need to go on to higher education. You will see what I think is quite innovative, what is otherwise a woman's center, making sure there's training for women to get online, to use the tools, to use the internet, the computer, as a way to find whatever it is they need to find in their lives, to get the connectivity, to, to, to find other women who could be resources for them. And you will see uh, women who are out there doing the advocacy, making sure that the internet is open for everyone, and that as we understand what the barriers are, uh, uh, primarily uh, poverty, pr primarily the ability to afford this, that they are already forging new paths to the future. So I am just delighted to be here, shining the light, uh, and making sure that you all know that the work is already being done, and that by seeing these women, others will stand up and say, me too, or those of you who are already doing it, go out and tell people what the work is that's required. So again, I thank you very much for this opportunity. The Internet Society is very pleased to be working with all partners, including and especially the ITU, that has all of the carriers who are providing the underlying transport for the Internet that's around the world. Together, we are doing great things. Let's keep our eye on the ball. Let's keep our eye on our women. And let's make sure everybody realizes the power that already exists. Thank you very much.